All right, Matt Dixon here, just finishing up the uh, stage two of the alt route. Firstly, apologies for yesterday. We couldn't get the connectivity to work, but I hope you saw the slideshow. And so let's talk about today. It was, oh, what do we say? Brutal, that's right. Two major climbs. The first one, the longest climb I've ever done in my life. Uh, it went quite well for me. I think the biggest thing for me was fueling and hydration and uh, really making sure that early staying on top of it, which was really important. On the flip side, the cruelty of this event, uh, my brother Martin having to uh, drop out on this stage, he'll be back tomorrow, I think, but uh, heat stroke basically yesterday, really suffering, whole system shut down, made a really smart move. The rest of the gang, we are um, gonna chat to. In fact, we'll check in with Peter at the end of this video to see how it went for him today. But the news on the road is everyone's doing very, very well. The uh, second climb, Cold is wide, uh, really scenic. And after it's all done, I'm standing here, I can think, oh, it's not that bad. But let me see, let's see my reaction when I'm at the top of the Izwad. Uh, top of the cold, the little Izwad. <laughs> no matter what I tell you, when it's all settled down, this thing's freaking hard. I tell you that, it's hard. All right, so that was uh, the truth telling right there. That was a little clip of me uh, suffering a little bit today. So we go down, uh, it started very early. Let's go back to the start of the day. We started in Cuneo, went through about 90 miles of riding today, very challenging. And now we get ready for stage three, which I'd like to say is a recovery day, but it looks a very challenging day again. So we'll see what happens. Cheers. Chris, the dirty news on the road is that you were the beast going up the second climb today. Big day for you? It was good. Yeah, it was a great day. I'm not sure about the beast though. Uh, no, I just felt good. The legs were there. I think riding with dad all the way easy for the first 60k just meant my legs were fresh for the next two climbs. But yeah, I'll great roll day. on tomorrow. Well done. Panos, you started with big ambitions. You went out on the assault early. You were hoping to attack to break the top 25. How was it? Successful? As smooth as a Capri. As smooth as a Capri. Well done. Tough day, yeah? But good day. Good day. Two down. Good to finish two down. Five to go. Five to go. Good man. All right. Thanks, mate. Finally finished the stage. Mr. Peter, the brother Dixon. How are you feeling? Good, yeah. Much better day to day. Paced it much better. Smart. It was yeah. long, long freaking. Is that the longest climb you've ever done in your life? I think so, yeah. Yeah, me too. And it was like the grade was like really tough, wasn't it? I don't know what it was. Was it 14% average or something? Well, I said to, uh, I said to these guys, when 9% feels like the time to recover. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That was exactly it. And it just went on and on and on all the way up, didn't it? Uh, Relentless. Never ending. Well done managing it. Super job today. Cheers. Rob, 62nd day two. Easy. I can't believe they gave us a recovery day, eh? A recovery day. Who would think that a nine hour, six, nine hour, six minute ride is an easy day? <laughs> After yesterday's 11 hour, it was. <laughs> Although well, those hills were a bit tough. That was a terrific effort. Well done. Thanks. All right, Mr. Simon, how was the day? That was tough. <laughs> In a word. Yeah, I survived. That was good. Good man. Yeah, well done.